Hi there, my name is Simon and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to deposit fiat currency and cryptocurrency into your Kraken account. So let's not waste any time and get started right away. So in order to deposit money into our Kraken account, we have to go to the top right here where it says funding. And then it will take us to this screen that you see right here. Where on the left side you can see your current total balance of cryptocurrencies and also fiat currencies. It's probably going to say zero for you because um, you don't have any cryptocurrency or fiat currency in your account yet. Then on the top here you can see your funding limits. So you're limited to uh, depositing $100,000 uh, in fiat currency uh, per day or $500,000 in fiat currency per month and also withdraw 100,000 um, per day or 500,000 per month in fiat currency. You can also change this to crypto. So with cryptocurrency, you are unlimited. So you can deposit any amount of cryptocurrency to your Kraken account, um, but you can only withdraw or only, you can withdraw $500,000 worth of cryptocurrency per day, which should be enough for most of you probably. Now here on the bottom, you can see all the different assets that you can trade with inside of your Kraken account. So right now here on the top, you can see fiat currencies. So right now they have U uh, Australian dollars, Canadian dollars, euros, pounds, Swiss francs, US dollars and yen. And then you can see all the different, um, you can see the different crypto assets that are available. If you click on show all assets, then you can see more cryptocurrencies here on the bottom. But what we wanna do now is we wanna um, fund our account using um, fiat currency, which is euros, um, US dollars, or so on. So let's say I am uh, in the United States and I wanna deposit US dollars from my bank account into my Kraken account. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look here for US dollars under fiat currencies, and I'm gonna click on deposit right here. And then we have to decide on a deposit method. And this is where many people don't know how to move on from this stage, because for, for um, many, different countries and many different currencies, there are gonna be different depositing methods. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a link down below in the video description that will take you to this page right here, which is a page of Kraken, where they explain all the different um, depositing methods they have. So here you can see exactly what methods they have for US dollars, for a Euro, and also for other fiat currencies. Now you can also see and that not every um, depositing method has the same minimum deposit, the same deposit fee, or the same processing time. So you can check out this list and just choose one that works for you. Um, like I said, it's gonna be different for, for most of you because you live in different countries and you wanna deposit different currencies. For me personally, I have deposited Swiss francs because I live in Switzerland and I have used the SIC Bank Frick option which is very cool because it's, uh, uh, it's a very low fee and it also arrives very quickly at the same day. But let's say, um, let's go back here and let's say we wanna deposit United States dollars and I'm gonna use the deposit method of a signature bank. And um, you also have Etana Custody, which is like a third party um, provider where you can uh, transfer money to and then you can deposit it using Etana Custody. Personally, I haven't used them myself, so I can't really speak on them. But it's, I, think, I think it's also a very cheap way of transferring um, fiat currency into your Kraken account. But now let's click on Signature Bank right here. And once you have decided on a depositing method, it's going to give you the exact instructions on how to deposit money to your Kraken account with your deposit method. You want to make sure to read all this right here, which is some important information about um, transfers in general. And then here on the bottom, you can see the exact information where you need to transfer your money to. Now, one important thing that I want to mention here is that you have to use the, that you should use the reference code and put that in the reference field of your bank transfer, because like it says here, this code identifies your deposit with your account. Um, probably if you don't use this, this code, there might be problems with your transfer. So if you, if you have like an online banking system, you can type in all the information here and then deposit uh, however, whatever amount you want to into your Kraken account, or you could also just go with this information here to your bank, uh, to your to your bank, and then they will definitely help you um, transferring your fiat currency into your Kraken account. And one thing I also want to mention is that once you have deposited your fiat currency in your Kraken account, 
they will block you for 72 hours to withdraw that money again to your bank account. It's some kind of security measures that they have, but just so you know that your money will be locked up in your Kraken account for 72 hours. You can buy cryptocurrency with it, you can trade with it and everything, but you can't withdraw any, anything for three days. So that's not just something you have to know when you deposit fiat currency. So this is how you can deposit fiat currency in your Kraken account. Now, obviously we can also deposit cryptocurrency in our Kraken account. If you already have some cryptocurrency in some kind of wallet or on any other exchange, then you can also deposit it to your Kraken account. And you basically do it the same way. You go to funding here and then it will take you back to the screen right here. And now instead of choosing a, um, a uh, fiat currency right here, you go down and go and look for the cryptocurrency that you want to deposit. So I'm going to um, sort this here by USD value to have maybe Bitcoin come up on the top. So let's say I want to deposit some Bitcoin. I'm going to click on deposit right here next to where it says Bitcoin. It, it's very important that you make sure to actually choose the right currency. Uh, the right um, to uh, the right coin here because if you send let's say bitcoin to an ethereum address then you run the risk of losing all your bitcoin so you want to make sure that you only send bitcoin to a bitcoin address and ethereum to an ethereum address and basically just use the correct addresses for the correct coins now once you have decided on what coin you want to deposit you can read this right here and then you want to click on acknowledge. They're just saying that if they're not responsible, if you're saying if you're sending it to the wrong address, click on yes, I acknowledge. And then what you want to do is set up a new, uh, generate a new address for depositing cryptocurrency into your Kraken account. So you can click on generate new address right here. So then this will be the address that you want to send your cryptocurrency to so that, that it will show up in your Kraken account. You can also generate a QR code from this address and use the QR code. Um, if you maybe have a wallet on your mobile phone, you can also use the QR code to send your cryptocurrency to this address. And then once you have enough confirmations, then um, it will show up in your, um, in your Kraken account as Bitcoin or whatever you are sending to your Kraken account. This was actually a segment of my complete Kraken tutorial that is also available here on YouTube. So if you're a complete beginner to the Kraken platform, you can also watch my complete tutorial that will show you how to set everything up from complete scratch. I'll leave a link to that tutorial down below in the video description. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click that thumbs up button down below and leave me a comment if you have any questions. And if you wanna see more videos just like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.